Welcome to the Nexus 2 help guide. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the aim cameras button. This feature of Nexus 2 not only allows you to make sure that the camera is correctly aimed in the X, Y, and Z directions, it can also help you to ensure that your cameras are properly zoomed in the case of your Vero cameras. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the aim cameras button with two fixed focal length vantage cameras and one very focal length Vero camera. The first thing that we need to do is to set up the target volume. This is a representation of the area that we would like our cameras to see. To enable the target volume, we go to Window, Options, or alternately, we press the F7 button on your keyboard, and we check the target volume box to visualize the target volume, and we highlight the words target volume to change the properties. In this example, we have a 6 by 6 by 2 meter volume cube, where the depth represents the x direction, the red line, the width represents the y direction, the green line, and the height is the z direction represented by the blue line. For the purposes of this example, I'm going to change the depth and width to 2 meters to give us a cube shape. and we can see how this alters the cube in real time. We can also see that the cube is centered around the global origin. We can change this by pressing the show advanced button and altering the respective offset. As an example, I'm going to shift the cube up and to the right by adding 1000 to the X and Y offsets respectively. However, for the purposes of the remainder of the video, I'm going to restore the volume origin to the default settings. We can also save this option for future use as well later. When we're using fixed focal length cameras, such as our Vantage cameras, we need to tell Nexus what the focal length of the camera is. The focal length can be found on the actual camera lens itself. In this example, the lens would be 18mm. We then go to the Resources pane System tab and highlight the camera in the local Vicon system. We then scroll down till we see focal length and we write in the appropriate focal length. In this case, my first Vantage camera is 12.5mm, which is a standard lens. And my second camera is 8.5 millimeters, which is a wide angled lens. Later on in this video, we will see what effect this has on our target volume. As the Vero cameras are very focal length, we don't need to do this step for the Vero cameras. The aim tool needs to be able to see all five markers on the selected L-frame in order to back project the camera position. If there is noise in the camera view, or if the camera is out of focus, and the five markers on the L-frame can't be seen, the aim tool won't work properly. We need to select the appropriate L-frame from the tools pane, System Prep tab, by pressing Show Advanced underneath the Set Volume Origin heading. In this example, I'm going to be using the Active Wand version 2, and I'm going to place the wand where I want my global origin to be. If you would like to conserve the battery life of your active wand, or if it's difficult to see all five points on the wand due to the positioning of the camera and the bubble on the active wand, what you can do to help in this situation is to place passive markers over the top of the LEDs. While there will be a minor offset in the Z axis, you can account for this during the aiming process. Ultimately, you will still need to do a full calibration, so this offset will not exist when that is complete. Now that I have my focal length set up properly, my target volume, the correct L-frame selected and set in my global origin, it's time to select the camera that I want to aim, and to change the 3D perspective to the camera view. The next thing I'm going to do is to turn on the 3D overlay so that I can see my target volume and all five points on my L-frame. 
Now, when I press start underneath the aim cameras button, we can see the target volume within the 2D camera view. We can see that as I rotate the camera in real time, the target volume will move accordingly. What we want to do is to make sure that as much of the purple target volume is within the 2D camera view. When I'm happy that I've aimed the target volume appropriately, I can press stop. Now, when I go back to the 3D perspective, I can see how the camera has been placed in the 3D perspective. We can also aim more than one camera at a time. I've selected the two Vantage V5 cameras. The first is a standard 12.5mm lens, and the second is a wide angle lens of 8.5mm. In my lab space, I've placed the camera side by side. Now, when I change the 3D perspective to the camera view, and turn the 3D overlay back on, and press start underneath aim cameras, we can see the difference that the lens makes. Furthermore, when I go back to the 3D perspective, we can see both cameras placed side by side. We can also use the aim tool to see how we can improve the zoom on the very focal length cameras, such as the Vero's. For this example, I've changed my target volume to a one meter cube. When I go back to the camera view and turn the 3D overlay on and press start underneath the aim cameras, we can see that the camera can be zoomed in quite a bit more. And so I'm going to zoom the camera in and then refocus the camera. I'm going to repeat the process of zooming and focusing until I'm happy that the target volume is optimized as well as it can be. This is as far as the camera can be zoomed in. So now when I press stop and go back to the 3D perspective, I can see that the camera has been placed in the 3D perspective. For the purposes of this video, I have not focused the cameras properly, as all I want to do is to demonstrate how the zoom will affect the size of the target volume in the 2D camera view. When you're actually aiming your cameras, you will need to properly focus your cameras which is covered in other videos. The camera positions that I've shown you for both the fixed focal length and very focal length cameras are estimates based upon the focal length of the camera and the position and orientation of the markers. Because we didn't set the focal length of the Vero camera, the position estimate is likely off. We can better estimate the position of the Vero cameras by estimating the focal length of the camera. The focal length of the Vero cameras can range between 6 to 12 millimetres. Therefore, if the zoom is closer to the W on the lens, the number will be closer to 6 millimetres. Conversely, if the zoom is closer to the T on the lens, the number will be closer to 12 millimetres. Once you're happy with the position estimation, you can then press stop underneath aim cameras. The aim camera tool does not take the place of a proper calibration. Because I have used the aim tool to aim three cameras, we can see that I have micro reconstructions. In spite of this, we will still need to recalibrate as the aim tool does not take into account the lens distortion and the calibration is biased to that marker position. When we move the wand or place markers in any other area, 
the reconstructions won't be accurate. And so I'm going to perform a proper calibration afterwards. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at vicon.com.